Welcome to another powerful show of prophetic revelation and insight. Straight Talk with Wayne, your daily source of prophetic revelation, prayer, and the Christian news that you need. As part of the thesecondadam.com, Pastor Wayne invites you to listen, enjoy, and share these anointed messages of hope and glory. Good morning, guys. Straight Talk with Wayne.com, thesecondadam.com, thesecondadam.tv. Welcome to your online church, your podcast portal here for the supernatural signs, wonders, miracles, and the kingdom of God and all that it brings. Today, I'm going to disrupt your culture, your theology a little bit. That's what I want to do. I want to talk about the way God thinks, the God, way God's thoughts and God's ways. How many have said, how many have repeated, well, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. And we'd love to grab that out of Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55 says, for you, Isaiah 55, 8, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways, saith the Lord. Now, that gives us a, a, truly, it gives us an excuse many times when we say, well, I don't know what to do. God knows. And, and we, we lower ourselves. We, we take ourselves out of the fullness that we are in him. And we say, well, I don't know. I mean, God knows my ways are not his. His ways are not my ways. My thoughts are not his thoughts. Really? Come on. I'm a child of the living God. If I'm a child of the living God and I had the mind of Christ, the same one that will say, well, his ways are not my ways. His thoughts are not my thoughts. But I have the mind of Christ. Well, that contradicts one another. That contradicts one another. You cannot have the mind of Christ without having the thoughts of Christ. And if you have the thoughts of Christ and you're one with Christ as he's one with the Father, then you're one with the Father. If you do not have thoughts of the Father and the the ways of the Father, you're not a child of God. Now, does that upset your culture? Does that upset your belief system a little bit? Come on. Let me read on. In Isaiah 55, 7, let the wicked forsake his way. Forsake means to let go, to get rid of, to abandon. He's talking to the wicked here. He's talking to the ungodly. And he's saying, "Get let go of what you're doing. Let go of that way. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, he will, do abundantly, he will abundantly pardon. Amen. Listen to me. The Lord wants to bring, the Lord wants to bring his life into you. He wants to bring his spirit into you. He wants to, amen, he wants to breathe life upon you. Let that dead spirit within you come back alive, amen. The, to take the soul, the mind, will, emotions, thought life, actions, reaction, and bring them into alignment. And he does that. We see here Isaiah 55, 7 and 8. Believers say, well, you know, that's not our ways. That's not our thoughts. But God wasn't talking to believers here. He was talking to the ungodly. He was talking to the wicked. And he said, forsake your ways. He was telling them to repent. Isaiah was the prophetically pinning out the words, repent, forsake your ways. He wasn't talking to believers. He was talking to those who are wicked. If you are a child of the living God, born again by the blood of Christ, amen, then 1 Corinthians 2.16 says you have the mind of Christ. What does God's mind think? Well, it never thinks defeat. It never thinks fear. It never thinks worry. It never thinks sin consciousness. It looks at redemption. It doesn't look at sickness. It looks at healing. It doesn't look at fear. It looks at love. It doesn't look at hate. It looks at love. Amen and amen. So God's mind always thinks in line with the spirit. Hallelujah. Come on. Listen to me. Romans 4, 7, God quickens the dead, call of things that are not as though they were. Come on. Cause things that are not as though they were. Why? Because that's the way God thinks. So now we go, well, listen, child of God, you're supposed to you're supposed to have the mind of Christ, call things that are not as though they are, make your prophetic decrees, and then you come right back and say, but, 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 we don't have the mind of Christ. I mean, oh, we do have the mind of Christ. I mean, we do, but we don't. I mean, we do, but we don't think the way God thinks. I mean, we do, But our thoughts don't line up with his thoughts. His ways are greater than our ways. Jesus said you would do greater works. How can you do greater works? Works or ways, amen. How can you do greater works, greater ways, if you can't even do what he does? Come on. Study the word for what the word says. 
He was not talking to believers here. So instead of saying, well, his ways are not my ways, his thoughts are not my thoughts, and your thoughts, humility, say, wait a minute, my eyes have just been awakened. Thank you, Pastor Wayne. Let's dig into the Word. And now suddenly you can say, wait a minute, I do have the mind of Christ. His ways are my ways. His thoughts are my thoughts. Come on. And then you can begin to express that kingdom reality everywhere you go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Guys, I want to just release this. I want to release this word over you because if you truly believe believe that you are a child of the living God, then believe also, believe also that you have the mind of Christ and his ways are your ways. Do you know there's a key? There's a key to the, uh, one of the keys that the Lord showed me. I was, I was ministering one morning. I was praying. I was prophesying over someone and the Lord spoke to me and he said, The Holy Spirit spoke. He said, I'm going to show you a key to Jesus' ministry upon earth. Now, that caught my attention. He's going to show me a key to Jesus' ministry upon earth. And I said, okay, I'm I'm listening. I'm ready. Come on. Amen. It just truly humbled me. And he showed me that Jesus moved according to the Father. He saw what the Father, he, he said, I do what I see the Father doing. He could see and hear. Yes, there was a prophetic reality, but also it's because his soul, listen to me, the soul is the mind, will, emotions, thought, life, actions, reactions. Come on. His ways, his ways mimicked that of the Father. I see what the Father's doing and I do that. He mimicked it. He followed it. He came into alignment with it. And the Holy Spirit showed me that when Jesus surrendered his soul, his mind, will, and emotions to the kingdom of God, Amen. There was an alignment. That means your soul. Listen, you listening to this podcast today, your soul, your mind, will, emotions, thought, life, actions, reactions can come into perfect alignment with the kingdom of God within you. Yes, you can think as Christ thought. You can think as the Father thinks. You can move in that reality in Jesus' name. It's the transformation of the mind that makes it possible. That's how you can receive your miracle and be a miracle worker. Wow. Guys, I'm going to start preaching if I'm not careful. We're going to cover this more in detail on our on an upcoming online church sermon. So keep an eye out on that as well. But what about you? Have you thought about that? Have you thought, ask the Holy Spirit, listen, you're hearing me, but don't just listen to me. Go back into the Word. Go back into the book of Isaiah. Study. Go back and listen to this podcast again and again and truly grab a hold of this verse because you've been limiting yourself for too long. The church has limited herself too long by saying... His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. That's wrong. Absolutely wrong. And it's time to bring revelation to it. Listen, go to thesecondadam.com. I'm going to ask you. I mentioned it last time. I'm going to ask you again. Pray about being a partner with us. Here's how simple it is. You pray. You listen to the Holy Spirit. Which level do I come in at? Which level do I commit to helping this ministry with? And then you simply obey. On the on the secondadam.com, there's a partnership page. There's three levels of partnership. Partner with the ministry. Partner with the prophetic. Receive the prophet's reward. Let us bless you and help us take the message into the world. I honor you. I bless you. I speak a prophet's reward over you. I believe in you because I believe in the Christ in you. Until tomorrow, God bless. Thanks for joining us for Straight Talk with Wayne. Do you need prayer, counseling, or personal prophetic ministry? Then go to thesecondadam.com for more information. Be sure to sign up at yourprophecynews.com for the latest updates, free resources, and prophetic news. God bless.